Stephanie Hansen and Michael Stafford are back to talk about other things like the legislative agenda in Dover. The News Journal put out a laundry list of possible items. There's decriminalizing marijuana and the budget and even casinos. But the one that caught my eye is body cameras. Uh, there's a study right now on it and uh, hopefully this will actually push through. Uh, but what are you guys, what are you guys thinking? Well, I mean, it, for, for when we talk about police body cameras, I mean, obviously uh, police departments around the country have been in the news recently. Um, I think that uh, Williams's proposal is, is a good one. I, I think, you know, in law enforcement, the camera is your friend if you're doing things right. The camera is only, only your enemy um, if you're doing something wrong. And so while it's not a cure-all, I think it could address uh, many of these kind of situations, including I mean, the recent video from Texas where you know, there's, there's major discrepancies in the stories between different witnesses. You've got these short segments of cell phone footage from a much broader event. And uh, having body cameras on those officers gives you the opportunity, if they're working, mm -hmm. to see what they're seeing and to, to view an event in its totality. And I really think it could um, help with some of these issues. An expense that you do you think a, the city of Wilmington can afford? Well, I believe so, and particularly mm -hmm. if it's something that the mayor is proposing, I think they'll find a way to, to afford it, and it, I think it would help give um, some confidence in the police department and the work that they're doing. Well, let's switch gears. GFC goes in high gear on June twenty second. Uh, what about these defect numbers? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we've talked about the budget a couple of times, and, and, and again, the numbers, the numbers don't look as bad as they originally did, but we, we, we're still facing a budget shortfall. And then when you listen to some of the revenue-generating proposals that are being floated, again, you know, one of my big concerns, so for example, when I hear, you know, Ken Simpler talking about reducing or eliminating the estate tax, mm -hmm. um, you know, my, my temperature goes up because <laughs> the last thing I think the richest Delawareans need right now is additional tax cuts. I, I don't see how that's going to generate generate additional revenue. I think we should be looking for measures that support working families, middle class Delawareans, working class Delawareans, not the richest people in the state. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think the conversation right now through the end of June is really dominated by the budget. You know how we're going to be able to come up with the money that we need. Um, I, I know that the in the mix is still the discussion of the gas tax, which may actually come to fruition in, in some amount. Um, there's still, at least on the table, there's the discussion of the, an additional cigarette tax. We'll see what happens with that. Um, so, you know, those, these big budget issues are only going to get worse next year. So everyone is going to be concentrating very hard on them this year. I think that decriminalization of marijuana will probably pass. Um, I think the death penalty is probably dead. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I, I well, no I pun intended, say, right? No pun intended. <laughs> I, I, I think it would be very difficult to revive it. Um, it's it had kind of died in committee. There are extraordinary measures that you can use to take it out of committee and bring it for a full vote. Um, there are extraordinary measures, so I'm not so sure that that will that that will happen. Um, but there, there was there was a bill though that just recently passed that I think could be of interest to a lot of people. Will be of interest to a lot of people, and that is there was a, a bill that was sponsored by Senator Nicole Poor and Representative Val Longhurst, mm -hmm. in which now all new teachers, or not all all teachers, not all new teachers, have to um, receive 90 minutes of suicide prevention training that um, in the Delaware school system. And I think that since teen suicides and you know, are a big issue in Delaware. That's something that a lot of people probably don't know, but are going to be very thankful for. Yeah, I was at that announcement. Especially, suicide is is definitely a problem in Sussex County. It seemed that's yes. why we had uh, some people come out and study. Uh, anything uh, else on your, on your minds this uh, this state of play? Do you think anything will possibly change drastically when it comes to the budget? In terms of the numbers, no. I don't think they're <laughs> going to find a pot of buried treasure in a farm field down in Sussex. Um, there does seem to be, although we're seeing movement in terms of ideas to generate additional revenue, mm -hmm. again, they all involve regressive tax measures. Um, I, I haven't seen the political will yet to really squarely look the budget issue in the face, be honest about what the problems are, 
and, and make some of the hard choices that we have to make either to raise additional revenue or to, or to cut expenditures. Well, time is definitely running out. It doesn't matter what we say now. Everything has to be done on June 30th. So as we like to say, stay tuned. Stephanie Hansen and Michael Stafford, uh, thanks as well for just being here as always.